another way vitamin D can boost your health. According to the latest research, D can be a lifesaver. Stay with us. You're watching CTV Newsnet. Another new study is linking vitamin D to better health. In this latest report, researchers found that colon cancer patients with higher levels of vitamin D were less likely to die from the disease. John McKenzie explains. Joanna Fuchs was diagnosed with colon cancer last year. A blood test revealed she was severely deficient in vitamin D. I was obviously very concerned and very worried. So too was her husband. Dr. Charles Fuchs is the researcher who announced today that colon cancer patients deficient in vitamin D are almost twice as likely to die over a 10-year period. These findings make considerable sense because in the laboratory we find that vitamin D reduces the growth of colon cancer cells, prevents its spread to other organs. This is just the latest in a wave of new studies on this nutrient. Vitamin D deficiency has been linked to a greater risk of type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis and rheumatoid arthritis, heart attacks among men, deaths from breast cancer, asthma attacks among children. Vitamin D seems to be very helpful in making your immune system do what it's supposed to do. The government recommends getting 200 to 600 international units of vitamin D every day, but those levels were set 11 years ago, primarily to keep bones healthy. People used to get all the vitamin D they needed from the sun. But as we use more sunscreen and spend less time in the sun, more Americans are becoming vitamin D deficient. The solution, take a daily supplement. But doctors suggest getting a blood test first to see exactly how deficient you may be. That's what Joanna Fuchs did. And now, with a daily vitamin pill, hopes to remain cancer-free. John McKenzie, ABC News, New York.